Hey guys, I was about to ship this to my client, but I decided to show this off and do a little intro video. This is a newly refurbished kit. And if you clicked on this, you're probably an alien fan like me. So let me show you what this is all about. This is the remastered, retooled, Nostromo flamethrower. So let me just get all these out and I'll review these parts so you can see all the mods and changes I've made to this amazing kit. The reason for this retool is there's a whole bunch of photos I discovered in the last year or so from mostly from prop stores of London that show one of the film used flamethrowers and so I was looking at that detail and decided man I need to make some changes. So I 3D modeled, I mean this already was starting out as a great body, like super, super detailed, but could use improvement. So I started out by modeling this tube, that's an addition. Um, on the opposite side, I've got an accurate uh, part from the 8RAD that's on the film used model. I remodeled this canister, I added a whole bunch of these nipples, there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little conical nipples. Just 3D printed those and added those on there. Cleaned up the body. I added this beam here. If you can see, it's got little divisions. And I've got this little row of detail. That's all there. The prop store of London model had some pieces break off, I noticed, so I kind of like this was broken in half actually on that prop store so I I made it the full length and this this member here elevates the rod and that's also missing from the prop store piece but it's on the film use piece so this rod now I realized sits on top of that platform like so okay and that's the body, totally redone, remastered. This is not cleaned at all. The seam line is still here, but it's actually just barely there. It'll be a very easy model to clean. Uh, let me see, on this side I added a knob. That's accurate to the film used version. There's a little knob right there. The regulator, completely redone. This sits on with three rods that correspond to those three holes. And that I modeled as the main body, the red knob, this brace piece, a spacer, another spacer, and then the rear knob. So, really happy with how that regulator turned out. The vent exhaust whatever this is that sits on top of there now includes instead of a just big piece of screen that you cut yourself I cut it for you on the laser cutter so you've got screen that lays inside of there on both sides the nozzle is now three parts this used to be kind of a it wasn't very accurate before so completely I, in, I modeled that in 3d CAD so you've got your end piece, the middle, and the connection piece, and that's connected with a standard dowel from Home Depot. There's a whole bunch of new detail parts, so instead of a, a big baggie full of miscellaneous pieces I used to have, now it's very specific. This sits on the underside, this guy sits on the front, the triggers are now separate pieces, just like the film used one, so instead of there being a modeled in trigger, this one will bury inside the body. You can spring load this if you wanted to, but that's a separate trigger piece. Um, the tanks have all this detail now. Um, I studied the, the film used prop really close and noticed that on that one of those tanks there's a detail that looks like this with a little plate that sits on top of that and then on the white tank this sits on one of the sides and then this guy sits on top of those holes with a little spacer 
Uh, this little guy, I noticed in one of the prop store photos, he lives right behind that piece. So he lives right there. Never saw it before, but I noticed it and modeled it, printed it, part of the kit. There's also faux washers. These go towards the rear like this. And there's four hex bolt, I mean two hex bolt heads. Those live about there. Uh, let's see, the tank is still the standard piece of PVC. Includes laser cut end caps and front cap. As a little treat, um, you can use this or not, but it's the Wayland Utani logo. And when I build mine, I'm going to put this at the back. I don't think that that's not screen used or anything. It's just a little fun little extra detail. So vinyl piece, vinyl decal goes there. Um, there's a hose. This little dude. Again, I had to piece this together because the prop store model is missing this, but I saw it in one of the really blurry reference photos, but this hose doesn't end there, it continues, so this needs a little bit of a trim, but it continues and it pushes right into that spot right there. True story. Here's a little hose connection. This goes at the bottom, I think, of the red tank. I'm not really sure, I can't remember, but this is cast on a real fitting. These guys are cast very, very lightweight. This thing is barely here, but it's really strong. It's cast with a urethane skin and then a urethane and foam matrix interior. So, super, super duper strong. And very light. The rest of the supplies and hardware for this kit can be found at any box store. But for an added cost, I can do all the shopping for you and even trim these pieces. That's two dowels that go onto the front nozzle. This is a spark plug boot that goes onto the emitter. Hosing. There's some hosing that details one of the sides. There's a thick piece of hose that connects the emitter to the vent. And then you've got a long metal tube that connects the tank to the underside of the body. Outside of this, you'll need a two inch black webbing and attachment hardware that's all easy to find on Amazon okay I think that is it it's it's a pretty basic kit I'll be filming a tutorial for this in the coming weeks make sure you hit subscribe to get notified when that video goes live and thanks for checking out the alien Nostromo flamethrower